Some people in South Carolina wonder how speed limits are determined. District traffic engineer Lori Campbell is here to explain. So Lori, who sets speed limits and how are they decided? So speed limits for existing roads are usually set by traffic engineers at the district traffic offices across the state. Normally what we look at is we conduct a speed study, determine the speeds that vehicles are already traveling on the roadway, and the goal is to set the speed limit as close as possible to the 85th percentile speed. The 85th percentile speed is the speed that 85% of the vehicles are traveling at or below, and that ensures that vehicles will be compliant with the speed we post, and also that's the speed you can reasonably expect people to travel. So Lori, if a speed limit is not posted, what is the driver expected to do? So roadways that aren't posted tend to be in residential areas like neighborhood streets or some rural roads. In the residential areas, South Carolina law by statute has determined that those speed limits will default to 30 unless otherwise posted. So this road is posted 55 miles an hour. If it were not posted on a similar roadway in a rural area, the speed limit would still be 55 based on South Carolina state law. So if you were traveling in an area with an unposted speed limit, you could still be pulled over and given a traffic ticket for traveling over 55 miles an hour. Thank you, Lori, for joining us for Ask SCDOT. And as you travel on South Carolina's roadways, observe the speed limit and avoid a ticket. Lauren Roundtree, SCDOT.